why is this so much harder than I remember? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, it's so loud in the other room and I can barely hear my own thoughts. Okay, so I finally killed all the happiness in the other room. Thank you. Um, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I've finally taken a break from playing The Sims and exposing racists on Twitter because... Whew. So if you can't tell by the title of this video, today I am going to be selling some of my clothes on Depop. Now, this is not sponsored by Depop in any ways, but if they'd like to sponsor me, um, my DMs are open, so slide through, you know? I am readily open to a sponsorship. Um, but either way, I like using Depop anyway, so not like it has to be sponsored for me to still use it, but yeah. So I'm going to be selling some of my clothes on Depop because I am in need of some change in my wardrobe. So I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on with me, if you care. I hope you care because you're watching this video. Um, so basically my style I think has changed quite a bit since this year of college and just kind of this year in general. I think like a lot of the stuff that I used to like buying I've kind of swayed away from that and like you know change especially like my color palette i used to be a queen of b yellow was my shit like i used to wear yellow constantly like it was an actual problem like i literally walked around looking like a bumblebee sometimes because that's how much i love to wear yellow like yellow was my favorite color to wear it's still kind of my favorite color, like especially that like honey mustard yellow. But I've definitely swayed away from a lot of like the yellow color that I've been wearing. So you're gonna see a lot less of yellow and a lot more of like other colors. And yeah, so I definitely think I've gone from like that really bright like yellow and like bright blues that I used to wear to like a more like darker. I mean, not really darker, but more of like less of that i feel like it's quite opposite of what i used to like so for that reason i'm going to be selling some of my clothes on depop so i can fuel my shopaholic addiction because we're all shopaholics here on this channel so yeah and i just don't want to like throw away my clothes and then just like throw away my clothes and then just buy clothes because that's really wasteful and also i don't really have money like that to be doing that so um yeah so i'm trying to like so my goal is to sell my clothes and then with the money that i make from selling them to buy new clothes you know like everyone else has been doing and i'm just now catching on to that hopefully if you guys are interested i'll leave a link down below but it's also in like the about me section like all my social medias and like other extra links um, yeah, so I have like a couple of my pieces here um, There's a lot more but these are just some of them that I'm gonna be selling and I'm gonna be just kind of showing you guys how I set up my store because I wanted to like look semi-professional I know some people just take the pictures and Post them, but I personally like to see like people kind of like style the outfit just to like give me kind of an idea of like ways I can style it if I were interested in like buying the piece so that's what i'm gonna do and hopefully that will also help you guys just because i know i find that personally helpful when people just style up the clothes so i'm like oh like that's cute i can like see the vision and i'm just gonna go kind of show you guys a step-by-step -step process of doing that in case you guys are also interested in selling your clothes on depop and don't really know how to because i know well i'm slow you guys are probably a lot smarter than me but i'm kind of slow and it took me a while to really kind of understand like the methods of it especially the shipping it was a little bit confusing to me i think maybe because i wasn't really reading it correctly i don't know but for some reason i couldn't get it so i finally did so i'm going to show you guys just kind of how to do that and how i do the shipping and also like the packaging because they don't really talk about that either and also how i take the pictures to um like post on my on my depop um so yeah 
so yeah let's get on into this video because this intro has been so long and i've been talking a hundred words a minute i talk when i'm nervous can you tell i'm nervous yes i'm nervous because i haven't done this in so long so hopefully you look guys like this video and you don't just unsubscribe the minute you see this So I first begin by setting my camera to the right angle and lighting. Then once I get the lighting right, I AF lock it. I'll insert a video just to like make more sense. When it is done, I try to pose as best as I can. I'm not a model or anything like that, so it's not perfect. But for the most part, it looked okay for what I was trying to get at. And so I wouldn't have to travel back and forth to the camera to take the photos. I got a clicker on Amazon. Also leave a link for that down below in the description box in case you guys are interested. So I narrow the photos that I like and put them into one folder. In Lightroom, you want to start with the tone curve and you want to push and pull on the line to create a sort of slight S shape. This helps to bring up the highlights and bring down the shadows. And you can already see how much that has already brightened up the photo. And my idea is to not drastically change the photo, but just to enhance everything that's already there. So moving on to lighting, I brought down the highlights all the way to 100. Then the shadows up to about 60 because it was getting kind of blown out. The whites were getting a little bright at this point, so I brought that down a little bit to around 20. And then the blacks, I just did like a little smidge. So in the color tab, I brought down the saturation a little bit because everything was looking a little orange. And then I began individually tweaking each color. The main color tabs that I worked on for this photo was the red, orange, and blue. And I mainly played with like the hue, saturation, and the luminance a little bit. I brought up the orange and the red just to bring back the color in my skin a little bit. And then just some of the color in the overall photo. And I brought down the luminance of the red just to kind of get rid of that copper look. And then the door was doing some weird blue thing, so I had to bring the blues down. But all in all, I just like tweak the colors just to kind of bring out the colors in the photo while also not overdoing it. So lastly, to the effects tab, I messed with the clarity just to sharpen the photo. And then to the most important part, the split toning. What split toning mainly does is bring color into the highlights and the shadows of your photo. It's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully you'll still have a visual and it'll make sense. So what I did for these sets of photos was bring the highlights all the way to about 300 and then the saturation all the way down to like around like 5 to 10. You definitely don't want it to be like higher than that range because it'll overwhelm the photo and it'll be like too blue or like too red or whatever like color you pick. So you definitely want it to be you know the saturation to definitely be in like the low margins around five to ten is like the safest bet to just have that like slight change that you're looking for and then for the shadows i brought it into like the orange margin which is around the 70 which will give me like that warmth in the shadows that i was looking for and then i made sure it, again the saturation to not be too high and most importantly once you're done with the split toning i cannot stress this enough is to bring up the balance or else you might get still some weird coloring going on and this is before and after and the photo is just looking a lot more polished and then i just copy and pasted my edits into my other photos with only having to do minor tweaks in the coloring So my Excel sheet is fairly simple. I first start out by listing all my categories, so the item name, and I list all the stuff. I also try to leave the brands in the item name as well. And then I have the original price slash the price that I paid for, it's basically how much it's originally in the store. And then the price that I paid for. So sometimes I do get things on sale. So if the price that I paid for is different from the original set price that the store has, I also um, will put that there as well. And then I also have the shipping. Shipping um, 
is based on how much something weighs as well so um it, for example they're all closed so they will relatively be the same sort of price however because certain materials are heavier than others that can also affect the shipping cost for example jeans are heavier material than a shirt that's made of cotton so that could vary in a couple of pounds even so that will also affect how much it it, it costs for shipping the next category I have is how much I plan on selling it on Depop. I try to calculate basically how much I've had the item for, what condition it's in, and that affects the overall um, cost that I want to market it on Depop for. And then I also basically have the profit slash difference in the pricing of what I put it on depop for versus how much i originally paid for the item and then the last category i have is basically just the total amount of profits that i could potentially make obviously i haven't sold the items yet so it's not set in stone and the numbers might change later but right now it's this is just a calculation of how much I can potentially paid for and that sum comes from basically calculating all of the dero which is basically the depop price that i plan on selling the item for so here's the basics for basically shipping on depop honestly it's not that hard but my brain was out of whack so don't judge me so let's say you're selling something for twenty dollars under a pound the shipping would be around like 450 and the total would be 2450 if you're having the customer pay for it so in your paypal you would get the twenty dollars for the top or whatever you're selling for plus the 450 for the shipping then later depop would take that 450 because you're using depop shipping so then your profit would just be the 20 dollars and then from your profit depop will also take 10 percent and then paypal will also take 2.9 percent as well as fees so in total you have 12.9 percent fees and then your total would be 1747 for if you're using Depop shipping and 1747 would be your total profit. Well, let's say you're feeling generous or just want to use your own shipping method that you have and you'd rather pay for shipping for the customer. So the item is $20. The customer doesn't have to pay shipping, so the total the customer has to pay is just $20. Then from that $20, you would have to subtract the $450 to pay for shipping. So then the profit you would get after paying for shipping is $15.50. From that $15.50, Depop would then take its fee of 10%, then PayPal would also take its fee of 2.9%. Then your total net profit for that item would be 1357. I hope this breakdown helps you understand if anyone else was a little bit confused. Um, of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments and I or hopefully someone else will answer it. Now for the most part, descriptions can be sort of whatever, you know, you feel is needed to be said about the product. But I definitely think there are some key important things that are definitely helpful, especially for me, I know what I'm shopping. Uh, definitely like a name of the item especially if it's from a brand if it has like a name if it's a thrifted piece you know like a description would be fine 
also the size sometimes people forget to put the size definitely the size is really important because then i can't tell if it's gonna fit me or not if you know i don't have the size and if it's from a brand definitely add that as well because it'll just kind of like give it like an extra push and if someone likes the brand they'll be more inclined to buy it and then also the material i think that's also like important it's like you know it's what material is from it's like cotton polyester um and things like that and then also something that i really find helpful is the model specifications um if someone's like modeling the outfit it's really helpful for me to know like their size and like um especially for pants their height because it also like it really helps me understand like how is it going to fit on me is it going to be too long is it going to be too short so that's also something i find really helpful and this is just an example of a description um i'm i'm probably gonna add more stuff later but this is just kind of like the basics um you know this is the brandy melville caroline dress um it's green it's the green one uh the size and fit all of brandy melville stuff is like one size which is super unhelpful and kind of annoying but um it fits like a small to medium i would say i definitely think you could squeeze in it if you're medium and then i put my height which is f um five five and then also um i put my weight i'm gonna put my waist in there as well so just kind of help to know like how snug it's gonna fit on you and things like that um yeah For the packaging, I definitely wanted to go with something super light because I didn't want that adding to the weight. Um, so I got these like plastic bag things from Amazon. I'll also link them down below. And they come with like a hundred or something like that for like, I think like 15 bucks, which I think is super helpful because that is, I think that's just so many. And I think that's like amazing. It also comes with these stickers that says like fragile. If you're like selling, you know, other items besides clothes or and like stuff like that, um, having like the kind of label like on the package will definitely help to, you know, make sure it's delivered with caution. This video took me so long to edit that I didn't even have time to film an official outro. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're any interested in buying anything from my Depop, it'll be in the link down below as well as in the About Me page. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.